This is part 27 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement search page in ASP.NET Core. First, let's quickly understand how Google search is implemented. If we search for something on Google, it issues a GET request and the search term presume tag is passed in the URL as a query string parameter. The query string parameter name is Q, query for short I think, just like Google we also want to implement the search using a GET request so the users can bookmark the URL if they want to. When they click on the bookmarked URL, they get to the search results straight away without the need to type the search term again. Notice, if I copy this URL and navigate to it in another browser tab, we get to the search results straight away. We want our employee list page to look like this. We want to include this text box within which we can type the search term and then a search button next to it. We are going to use Bootstrap 4 for styling. This is the index razor page that displays the list of employees. First, we need a form element and we want to implement the search using a GET request. So let's set the method attribute to GET. Inside this form, we want a div element with the Bootstrap class input-group for styling. Inside this div, we want an input element. This is our search text box and we want to style it using form control bootstrap class. And we want to bind this to search term property. We don't have this property in the corresponding page model class. We'll create it in just a bit. Next, we want another div element with the bootstrap class input dash group dash append again for styling. Inside this, we want a button of type submit. Style it using btn and btn-primary classes. The text on the button is search. Our obvious next step is to include this search term property in the page model class. Let's include it after this employees property. The data type is string because search term is of type string and the name of the property is search term. With these changes in place, let's run our project and see what we've got so far. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to the employee list page. We see our search interface as expected. Let's search for this employee John. Notice the search term is passed in the URL as a query string parameter. All that is left to do is use the search term, filter the employee list and then display the filtered employee list. On the employee list page, when the search button is clicked, a GET request is issued because the form method attribute is set to GET. This GET request is handled by this onGET method in the page model class. At the moment, this method is calling getAllEmployees method of the employee repository. As the name implies, this method returns the list of all employees. Now, we want a method that can search and filter employees. Let's include that within our employee repository. So, let's open both mock employee repository and the interface. Just like this get all employees method, our new search method is also going to return an i enumerable of employee objects. The name of the method is search. And to this method, we want to pass our search term as a parameter, which obviously is of type string. Next, let's provide implementation for this method within mock employee repository class. If this incoming parameter search term is null or empty, we want to return the entire list of employees we have in the private field underscore employee list. If a search term is provided, then we want to filter the list. For that, let's use the link where extension method and filter the list by employee name. Here, we are using the contains method, but we can use the other search techniques like starts with, ends with, etc. Let's also search the email property. Using this technique, we can search the other properties as well if we want to. Next, in the index razor page, in the onGet method, instead of calling getAllEmployees method, let's call the search method and to this, let's pass the value that we have in the search term property and then run our project in debug mode. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to the list page, search for an employee with name John. 
Notice we have two problems here. First of all, the employee list is not filtered. We see the same original list of employees and the search text box did not retain the value that we have typed here. Let's understand what's going on by typing the search term again. And before we click the search button, let's place a breakpoint on this on get method and then click the search button. Notice this search term property is null. Why is that? Well, that's because model binding is not able to map our search term in the request that is this value John to this search term property. For that to happen, we have to decorate this property with bind property attribute. So let's stop debugging and use bind property. By default, model binding only maps the search term value in the request to this search term property on a post request. But we are implementing search here using a get request. So we want model binding to work even on a get request. So let's set supports get property to true. And then run our project again. Navigate to the employees list page, search for an employee with name John. Notice now the search works as expected. We only see John here and even the search text box retains the search term. If we remove the search term and search again, we see the full list of employees as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.